the wonderful name of Jesus. All workers, um, men and women in the house, the youth, in the name of Jesus, our brothers and sisters, in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, all protocols observed. Amen. There is a matter that is pressing in my spirit. Um, we're going to read from the book of Acts, chapter number one. Maybe we're going to start from verse number three to verse number eight. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Master Jesus. Thank you, Master Jesus. Okay, it reads thus. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. In other words, teaching them the kingdom of God. Amen. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which said he, ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days from now. And when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come to you, no more is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both firstly in Jerusalem and then in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Hallelujah. Now we can go to verse number seven. Verse number seven. Thank you, Jesus. And he said to them, it's not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had ordained in his own power. And then the next verse, but ye shall receive power. In other words, what will enable you to know the times and the seasons that the Father has ordained is the power that you will receive. Hallelujah. And the kind of knowledge that you will receive from this power, no matter the kind of empowerment that you will receive, is the kind of empowerment that will lead you to knowledge of things that are not common knowledge to mere men. So the way we are reading, Barcelona, we are reading here where Jesus, uh, we are reading one of Jesus' last teachings to his disciples, which are now referred to as his disciples, I mean as his apostles. Hallelujah. This is one of the last teachings that Jesus rendered as he walked upon the face of the earth. Hallelujah. So after he has taught them many things, one of the things that he, 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 majorly, he majorly enforced upon them as his emphasis was the kingdom. I want you to know that in Matthew chapter number 5, Jesus opened up his teaching ministry. He opened up his teaching ministry by the message of the kingdom. He carried out that message until the very last time. Even when he was departing, the last thing he taught them was the kingdom. Amen. I am, I am very worried and I am very bothered. These days, it is something that doesn't leave my spirit. And my concern is a concern of really the church of Jesus Christ being established in, 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 in the foundations and in the pillars of the kingdom. Hallelujah. We really need to be reintroduced to the message of the kingdom. Not just the message, but the lifestyle of the kingdom. Because the purpose of the message is to lead you to a lifestyle of living according to the kingdom dictates. Amen. Amen. 
For the Bible says, chapter number, verse number one, chapter number eight of Romans, it says, for if there is no more condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, those who no longer walk after the dictates of the flesh, but those who walk after the dictates of the spirit. Hallelujah. And the dictates of the spirit are the dictates of the principles of the kingdom. Hallelujah. So one of the very last things that Jesus, that Jesus taught according to Acts chapter number one, was the message of the kingdom. Hallelujah. It is almost as if Jesus, there is something that Jesus saw about the kingdom that the church of today has lost sight of. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But there is something that Paul says which is very intriguing. He says, being built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets, which is Jesus Christ, who also is the chief cornerstone. Hallelujah. So if the house that you are being built into is a house that is going to be a spiritual house, the foundation of that house is the foundation of the apostles and the foundation of the prophets, which is Jesus Christ. But Jesus is not only the foundation, but Jesus is also the chief cornerstone. Now, when we say Jesus is both the foundation and the chief cornerstone, we are trying to say, if we were to lay a foundation of a certain building according to certain given schematics or certain drawings that have been drawn by maybe architects or whatsoever, and we lay a foundation according to that plan, if we now forsake the dictates of the foundation and begin to build in our own way, we are no longer building according to that plan. And the reason why we can deduct the fact that we are no longer building according to the plan is because we have shifted from the dictates of the foundation. Hallelujah. So now when we say Jesus is a chief cornerstone, we mean, we mean he is the one who directs the building. It is according to his position that the whole building should be structured. Now, one of the main reasons that has led us astray from kingdom, accurate kingdom practices is because now the gospel we have misinterpreted it. I'm looking for an English term in Zulu, which means you are starting with what you should be ending with. And then you are ending with things that you should be starting with. In other words, things that have taken the proton place in our lives or, or, or the first place or the first priority place in our lives are things that should go last. Nowadays, believers become, we become, people, people become converted. People become convicted. People receive Jesus Christ to get. Meanwhile, the purpose of, rece of receiving Jesus Christ is to become. We are no long, we are not, we are not children of God so that we can get from God. But we become born of God so that we, we can become partakers of his divine nature. So the purpose is the nature. The reason why Jesus laid down his life. The reason why he died for me and you. The reason why you were, you were redeemed from your sinful nature through his glorious kingdom is so that you can be a partaker of his divine nature. This is why he then decided to beget you for the second time not so that you can receive things that are of the kingdom oh have you not read the parable the parable of the prodigal son there was one son that was in it we normally criticize the son that remained behind but he showed some excellent qualities from which we can learn which is we are sons so that we can become we are not sons so that we can get some people become sons to get and they're getting sons they normally take 
take whatever they take and go and spend it away not aware that the principle of the kingdom says whatever is begotten of life is sustained by life whatever is begotten by the principle of life is sustained by the very same principle of life by the hand of a prophet he took them out of Egypt by the hand of a prophet he also sustained them in the wilderness which means now the same principle by which he broke you out of that conundrum is the same principle by which he will sustain you when you leave that conundrum in other words when you become a troop in the kingdom you become a troop forever you are not in it to get whether you get or you do not get is irrelevant the success of your work can always or should always be traced back to your becoming it is only by what you become that you can really attest if Christ has really been formed in you and when we say Christ we mean the kingdom now the church of Jesus Christ these days has lost its way we have lost the ancient parts but we thank God for these sessions for we are seeking those parts back we are looking for that way once again we are looking to find our way once again everyone now in the body of Christ has an opinion and we normally validate that opinion based on many other things outside of the word of God and the moment you do that we are we are dead we are definitely going to be led astray we have lost our culture as a people of the kingdom so much so that we no longer vet things by the word of God you 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 you, you have an idea in your bedroom and that idea becomes exciting to you and after that idea excites you enough because you have what is called a platform and you have a few cameras and a Facebook page we begin to record you and we begin to post whatever it is that you are saying out of excitement before it is vetted by scripture before you go through the test of the scriptures and then that opinion becomes posted as if it is the word of God and then those things begin to dilute the message of the kingdom and it begins to be presented to wrong ears as the kingdom of the gospel which has led us to the problem that we are facing currently today as the church of Jesus Christ we need to go back to vetting the realities no matter to vetting our truth by scripture you need to test every everything needs to go past the test of scriptures even yourself even you as cold as you are as on fire as you are hallelujah as 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 a tongue speaking devil kicking demon trembling as you are you still need to be verified by scripture you still need to be vetted to be tested by the scriptures amen that is the way of the kingdom in actual fact there is no kingdom without the word of god hallelujah Outside of the parameters of the word of God, there is no kingdom. So the moment you say you are doing whatever you are doing for God, as soon as it escapes the parameters of scriptures, you have left what is called the kingdom of God. It might be a spiritual kingdom that you are following, but it is no longer of God. Hallelujah. So when Jesus was teaching them, and he infused kingdom into them so much that they began to boldly ask a question which is very intriguing which also seeks to tell the degree to which Jesus taught the kingdom are you still following me now the question is will you at this point I don't know if it's verse number four verse number five will you at this point restore the kingdom to Israel in other words Jesus practicalized the kingdom to the disciples to a point where they almost mistook it for a political 
a, a political movement, so to say, or a political plea, or a, 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 as a political appeal to them to say, we need to establish this kingdom of God to an extent that they only saw it through the, by the limitation of their lens because at this point, they have not yet been helped by the Holy Spirit to understand things that are spiritual. But the kingdom culture was so infused to them that they viewed themselves as possible agent of a coup. Because at this point in Israel, Israel was under oppression by the government of the Roman Empire. So now they began to be taught the kingdom to a point where they thought, maybe these are the means by which we can overthrow the kingdom of the Roman Empire. Hallelujah. But Jesus then says, because you have not yet been helped, you have not yet been empowered, you can't understand times. You can't understand times and seasons because you have not yet been empowered. But when the promise of the Father that I've spoken to you saying, John baptized by water, but you shall be baptized by the Spirit. When that endowment of the Spirit comes, you will then begin to be empowered. Hallelujah. You will then begin to become empowered. And by that power, you shall function as witnesses. Say witnesses. You shall function as witnesses. When that power begins to take over your life, you will begin to witness for me. Which means you will begin to accurately understand all things pertaining to the kingdom. And you will extend the frontiers because now, with, for now, the kingdom is with you. The kingdom is amongst you. But the kingdom needs to spread to Jerusalem. And after it has spread to Jerusalem, it needs to spread to Judea. After it has spread to Judea, it needs to spread to Samaria. After it has spread to Samaria, it needs to spread to the uttermost ends of the world. Of the world. But the point of interest in this whole scripture, in this whole verse, is the word witness is there. Amen. Hallelujah. It is the word witnesses. Tell me, let us read. First Corinthians chapter number 6, verse number 20. Tell me, 19 and 20. It's calling 19. I know some fun no Galatians. What you know not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own. Hallelujah. Paul here is saying, do you not understand yet that your bodies are not of your own, but your bodies are a temple, a house, are a temple of the Holy Spirit, and they are a temple of the Holy Spirit by the fact that you are not of your own, and you might, they might ask themselves, they might have asked themselves, what validates such a bold statement? For ye were bought with a price. In other words, the, 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 the standpoint upon which I stand as I declare to you to say that your bodies are no longer of your own, but your bodies are now a temple of the Holy Ghost, is the standpoint by the provision of the fact that ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body, in your spirit, which belongs to you. To now both your body and your spirit is no longer your property. Hallelujah. It is no longer your property, but they are God's property. When you declare the lordship of Christ over your life, you lose ownership of your body. You lose ownership of your spirit. Because by means of redemption, by principles of redemption, you no longer belong to yourself. Because the principle of redemption is, we were captured by means of our nature of sin. Because we were born into sin, the, 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 the kingdom of darkness had a legal claim over our lives. Hallelujah. 
We were born captives by virtue of the presence of sin and the presence of the nature of sin by means of inheritance. When Jesus died, he died to pay a price. And that price became a ransom. Uh, what is a ransom? A ransom is a redeeming price, which means is a price that is paid to the capturer to release a captive. So Jesus, by his blood, paid that price for me and you. And by, the, by that principle, it therefore stands to reason that we no longer belong to ourselves. But we belong to Christ. We belong to the Holy Ghost. So therefore now our bodies is no longer of ourselves. We, even our spirit, are not our own, but of God. Hallelujah. They now belong to God. Why? Because we were bought with a price. Hallelujah. We were bought with a price. So now, the... The disciples of Jesus Christ receiving the power was so that they will begin to understand things pertaining to the kingdom. One of the most critical things that they needed to understand is this principle that I've just taught you about. Is the fact that they no longer belong to themselves. Is the fact that they, are, they were now bought with a high price. Hallelujah. So now it means they, they, they legally cannot control what happens to them. But there is one who now is supposed. This is why then Paul says in the verse that we read in Galatians chapter 8, verse number 1 of Romans, he says, There is no longer condemnation for those who are in Jesus Christ. Those who no longer live according to the dictates of their flesh because they don't belong to their flesh anymore. But those who live according to the dictates of the spirit because they belong to their spirit, no matter they belong to the Holy Ghost now. It is by this principle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then Jesus makes this claim now, standing upon this principle that since you know me and understand me and has received me as your Lord and Savior, and after you have been endowed with the power of the Holy Ghost, the first set of knowledge that will be downloaded into your spirit is that you no longer belong to yourself. But you belong to the kingdom that I've been inducting you to or inducting you for. Hallelujah. But you now are of the kingdom. Hallelujah. 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 When a certain territory is conquered by a certain kingdom, and all those captives, all those people who survived in the kingdom that has been conquered, uh, all the people that have survived are taken as slaves and as captives. The first thing that happens when they become normal, when they get into the new territory or the new land of the ones that conquered over them is they become inducted according to their, according to the kingdom that they are now being introduced to. Because they are now supposed, more booze that they are supposed to, even their names, they change even their names. Like Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Hallelujah. When they were kept, no matter when they were captives from Jerusalem, Hallelujah. When they were kept in from, 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 from Zion, when they were kept in Babylon, when they were slaves there, when they were, when they were captivated there, they gave them even new names. Because they are supposed to be cultured. They are supposed to now understand the kingdom as things are done in the kingdom that they now find themselves in. Now that is the problem with the church of today. We receive converts from the world and they keep no man we keep our mentality from the world into the kingdom of God almost as to culture the kingdom of God to be fashioned according to the world. Meanwhile, Barcelona, we cannot have it like that. Because firstly, primarily, we no longer belong to ourselves. This is one of the things, Barcelona, that truncate our salvation experience. Because we don't understand such things. Even to the things that should be beneficial to you. Because according to this statement now, it means your needs are no longer your needs. 
Hallelujah. But your needs are the needs of the kingdom. Now you approach life as a needy somebody, as a needy person, not understanding that now you, you no longer, you don't even have, you don't even own what is called a need anymore. Because according to this principle, if you seek first under the kingdom, these things will be added upon you. These things will be added because they belong to the kingdom. The only problem is you are not aligned to the kingdom. This is why we lack. This is why we are defeated. This is why we live shameful lives. This is why we live sinful lives. This is why we live, we live, we live lives of defeat. Because we don't understand that our lives are no longer of our own. But we now belong. The kingdom bought you to an extent. It bought even your needs. The kingdom paid for the price even of your wants. The kingdom paid you. It, it, is, it has, when Jesus said, in that cross it is finished. That's all, those are all the things that are included in that statement. When his blood fell to the ground and as he was giving up his ghost, paying the price, paying the full price for you. He was made poor so that you can be rich. He, he, he was by his stripes we became healed. But if you still want to own your, your, your sicknesses, own your needs, own your wants, own your legs, own your shortcomings, that is why you are going to live an insufficient life. This is why Paul will even go to say, I am self-sufficient. But not in my sufficiency, but in the sufficiency of Christ. Another thing that I need you to understand is that whenever the Bible makes mention of the word Christ, it is talking about the kingdom. Hi, Bazaar. So the price was paid for you. Say with me, I was bought with a price. You were even bought from your worries. You were brought from anxiety. The price has been paid. What thing? You were bought with a high price. Even from depression, the price of depression was paid on your behalf. From your depression, you were bought. For it is finished. Now, what, what we lack to really understand these things is the power. The power that comes with the reception of the Holy Ghost. Because what I want to talk about, Pastor Dan, verse number eight, chapter number one, X, is I want to talk about. I want to try and attempt talking about witnesses. Amen. Amen. What is it that the Bible makes it so important? That the Bible makes it so important. That um, Galatians 2, verse number 20. That we were bought with a high price. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I am crucified. Facing whatever it is that you are facing. Dealing with whatever it is that you are dealing with. I am crucified with Christ. You see that line finishes me. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Barcelona. I am crucified with Christ. The, the problem with us believers of today is we want to live. We want to be alive. We want, we want to be relevant. We want to be seen. We want to be recognized. We want to have a name. We want to give our lives to Christ and to continue living. Meanwhile, in this lifestyle, 
your reception of Christ, when you receive Jesus Christ, when you declare that you belong to him, you declare that you were crucified with him. That is the confession of faith. To say you die on that cross when he was dead, you were there with him by faith. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh. So everything I do on the physical world is no longer in my own accord. But I do it by the faith of the Son of God. This is why even our, our, our walk in faith is so tainted and it is so limited even our spiritual sight is so tainted and it is so limited because we still see things from the lens of our flesh but there is one thing i can guarantee you by a code number with regards to your flesh is that your flesh is very very limited your flesh is limited your flesh is limited. Whatever is seen is temporary. The Bible says so. Whatever is seen is temporary. In chapter number 8, Romans. Whatever is seen is temporary. But whatever is not seen is permanent. And then it says, Jesus who loved me and he gave himself for me. If you lack this understanding, Barcelona, if you lack these things, you will lack the privilege of walking in such a high understanding of the kingdom of God. And you will be limited by the short-sightedness that is brought by focusing on your needs. This is why Jesus boldly says, do not consider and say, what will I eat? What will I drink? What will I wear? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because Jesus understood that according to kingdom principles, the price has already been paid for all those things. In other words, they are yours. Basalan, you're not hearing me. I'm saying to you, they are yours. They are yours. They are yours. These things are yours. These things are yours. Hallelujah. These things belong to you. And they are yours. Hallelujah. Because he paid the price for you. Now, when you waste your time and when you focus on these things, you become so short-sighted to the point that you fail to see the provisions of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You fail to see the provisions of, and you become so occupied by the things that have been already taken care of. These things are already taken care of. You can't now live your life worried, anxious, because things are not going well at your job. No matter where you work, things are not going well. Your business is struggling. Your family is being shaken. Everything that concerns you is going under test. You can't live a life concerned about those things if you are co correctly and accurately fashioned according to the kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is why Jesus says, remove your focus from these things. I feel like dwelling here, Barcelona. I don't know why. Leave, remove your focus from these things. The dictate of the ancient part says kingdom first. It says kingdom first. Kingdom first. We're going to pray now. We're about to pray. But there is something. Let us go to verse number 8. Verse chapter number 1. Acts. Verse number 8. When it says witness is there. The word witness is there. We can't teach the kingdom without first establishing self-denial. Denial. Because the duty of the kingdom, in a government, you are allowed freedom of speech. In a free society, 
You allowed freedom of expression. You allowed freedom of whatever perception of or, or, or whatever thing or whatever, whatever, Barcelona. You can see things or say things in your accordance. You are allowed that. In actual fact, your opinion matters to a point where it is considered. Hallelujah. In a democracy, but in a kingdom, you are, all of us are supposed to think one thought. All of us are supposed to have one heartbeat. All of us are supposed to march in order. This is why the marching troop of the last days will not be a marching troop that will break ranks. Because we are not marching in our own accords or according to our own creative ways. But we are marching according to prescribed ways. So in the context of a kingdom, what you need to understand, what you need to fully understand is that in the kingdom you are not supposed to have your own wishes, your own will. Your own. I'm not saying this because now what I'm saying sounds bizarre to a, to a mind of a believer who grows up in free society. I am saying all of us are not supposed to have our own kinds of mentalities or thought patterns but we are supposed to be transformed by the renewal of our minds by the word of God. Oh, Barcelona. To an extent that you don't think in our own way, but you think according to the word. Hallelujah. Everything we do, we do according to the kingdom of God. Are you with me, Barcelona? So that when we march, we march in order. Now, the Bible makes mention of something here. Who to just who the power that you will receive, one of the very first things that it will do to you is that it will make you witnesses. Now, the original word, Gaga witness is there is the word metaya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we're talking about metayas, we are talking about a group of people, or pe the people in the first church, in the early church, that gave their lives to Christ. That gave their lives to Christ so that they can, so that they can so that they gave their lives to Christ, and then after that they were killed for the sake of confessing the gospel and not removing their faith, hallelujah, from Jesus Christ. When they died confessing Jesus, they were called Matthias. Hallelujah. Now, one of the first prerequisites to accurately follow the kingdom of God, hallelujah, one of the first prerequisites is self-denial. Hallelujah. I always used to say this to say, Jesus died for you. But now that you have matured and you have assumed a stature of a son, are you willing to die for him? Hallelujah. Because that is, what, that is the end point of your faith. Hallelujah. That is the highest point of your faith. Where you are beginning, no matter where you are willing to lose your life for the sake of maintaining your confession. Because your confession at this point becomes more than words. At this point, your confession becomes your reality. And if you are not taught self-denial enough, then we cannot confess the kingdom of God to a point of death. Hallelujah. One of the things that amazed me as I studied scripture is that most of the time when you see the cloud of witnesses in heaven, which is the church triumphant, when you see it recorded, it had to do with a certain somebody suffering for the kingdom to the point of death at most times. Hallelujah. That is why you will see the cloud of witnesses being shaken to a point where they respond. Firstly, when Jesus died, at the cross, and they were seen, the saints were seen in Jerusalem, walking to and fro the streets. The second account is in the account of, 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 of Stephanie. Hallelujah. When Stephanie was being stoned, we see them reacting there. But Barcelona, you need to understand, Barcelona, we can't teach the kingdom of God without first teaching self-denial. And the reason for self-denial is the fact that you were bought with a high price. Now you can't live a life of being too self-conscious, of being self-conscious. 
by the reason of the fact that your life was bought, you no longer belong to yourself. This is why Romans chapter number 12, verse number 1 would say, Therefore, offer, 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 offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. Now, that part needs to be a decision on your side. Where you decide to offer your body as a living sacrifice, which is your acceptable service to God. Now, when it comes to self denial, it becomes an offering. It needs to be a conscious decision. Hallelujah. It ne- when it comes to you being a witness, the power of God, the Holy Spirit empowers you to deny yourself to a point of death. Because Jesus says, the point of this whole thing is so that we can obtain what is referred to as higher life. Hallelujah. It's so that you can obtain what is referred to as higher life. He says, whosoever saves his life or keeps his life or redeems his life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let he shall lose it. But whosoever is prepared to lose his life for my sake will get higher life. Hallelujah. It says, am I am a virgin? He will get higher life. Hallelujah. Now, you can't have, you can't obtain that badge of higher life if you are still maintaining and sustaining and trying to protect your life. What will we say when we get to heaven in front of the cloud of witnesses? People who died, people who were slaughtered, people who were burned alive, people who were electrocuted for the kingdom. What will you say knowing that you stayed at home because you had a minor headache? Because you had a minor in- inconvenience? What will you say? You can see from that deduction that we have not denied ourselves enough. But tonight I want us to make a prayer. A prayer of offering our bodies as a living sacrifice. Because now that sacrifice becomes a reasonable service. Which means it is something that you have to do consciously. Many other things Christ do, does on our behalf. But when it comes to kingdom practices, we have to take a conscious decision to do them. Because in the context of the kingdom, we are referred to as sons. And sons don't beget. No, my sons don't. Don't. Sons are not just receivers, but sons are contributors in the kingdom. Sons don't come to the church, no matter to church, to receive, but sons come to church to contribute. Because sons understand responsibility. Sons assume responsibility. That is when you become an accurate witness. But all those things, you cannot achieve them in your own strength. Those things are a result of you being endowed with power. So I want us to pray tonight, Lord, empower me to be a witness. Lord, empower me. I don't want to testify using a mic. I don't want to testify just using Facebook posts. I don't want to testify using my opportunity to preach. But let my life, let my life be a witness. Let my, let my selflessness be a witness. Let my death for the sake of the kingdom, let it be a witness. 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 Let my life, let my, let my speech, let my conduct, let my walk with you. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, 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 hi. 
even when I have an advantage, let me sacrifice my comfort, denying my advantage for the sake of the kingdom. Let it be a witness. Empower me. Empower me. Empower me. Empower me. Romans it says, He empowers. He empowers. He quickens our mortal bodies. He quickens. He quickens our mortal bodies. Now, I want us to pray for special grace of empowerment so that you can be empowered until we become witnesses. I don't, I want to pray even when my flesh is saying no, but I want to be found praying. I want to fast to a point where my body is failing, but to be found there as a witness. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, Tapala Rato, Ata, Laraya has a samba is about to be empowered tonight. Come on, the Bali. Atale, talare, tarai. Ataroma, talarimai. Atala, ratoka, narate. Atala, rihatala, remai. Atale, rataka, naya. Umata, pala, rehase. Even with a sword on my leg, even with a gun on my face, even with poverty, poverty, knocking at the door, even if I am to lose all things, I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. It is no longer I who lives, but it is Christ who lives in me. Come on, the palerima has Even in the face of incurable disease, even if you are not to heal me, even if you are to not heal me, even if you are not to take me out of my financial circumstances, I belong to Jesus. Ay, 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 ay. Come on, the Come on, Japali. Even with my summonings from the lawyers, even when my possessions are about to be repossessed, even if I am about to lose my job, let me lose my job. Let my business go under. But let me remain with my confession. I belong to Jesus. Come on, Japali. Come on, the pelere. Ay, 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 ay. For I do understand. I understand that you paid. You paid a very high price to me. I belong to Jesus. I might have grown up without my parents. I might have grown up without anything to eat. Even as you speak, I might not have a blind waiting for me where I am going, but I belong. Even if the world is to offer me an easy life, an easy way out, a sort of comfort, a sort of comfortability, but I belong. I belong to Jesus. I was bought with a high price. I was bought from my foolishness. I was bought from my worries. I was bought from anxiety. I was bought from anxiousness. I was bought from depression. I was bought and bought from luck. I belong to Jesus. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, may you empower me. May you quicken my mortal body. Ay, ay, ay. Even if my organs are to fail. Even if I am to lose all things. But I am not going back for my confession. I belong. 
Even if I become talk of town, ay, 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 I might become breaking news. Ay, 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 even if my lack, my poverty, even if my downfall, even if my shortcomings were to be my public perspective, but I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. No man have a drum under my Using my cars until I walk. I belong to Jesus. God. Ay, 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 ay. Somebody is receiving something, something peculiar tonight. Somebody is receiving an empowerment. Someone has been discouraged for long. But I am here to tell you, you are bought with a high price. You need to strengthen your conviction and strengthen your confession. I belong to Jesus. Deposit is being made into somebody's spirit now. Ay, ay, ay. There is a Kratos and there is an Exusia that is being deposited, and there is Tunamis that is being deposited into somebody's spirit now to remain in the conviction. I belong to Jesus. 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 I challenge you, child of God, to post on your status, on your WhatsApp status, to post on your Facebook. Post a nice picture of yourself with a hand. I belong to Jesus. Come out of Bali. I atakale, ale ramotale, amatepale. I might lose the deal. I am prophesying now. I might lose the deal. I might lose the deal. Even if I lose the business deal, but I belong to Jesus. I I feel the apostolic spirit in our midst. The radical spirit, the spirit of being radical about all things. I belong to Jesus. at my highest when I am flying high when all things are settled my business is settled everything I ever dreamt of everything I ever wanted is at a finger's reach is at a arm's length but I belong to Jesus I belong to him I belong to him I belong to Jesus I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. Even if the decree is in my hands, finally, even with a PhD, I, 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 even if my master's degree is in my hands, I belong to Jesus. Come on, Tapai. 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 Even in my days of plenty, even in my days of much, even in the day in the best of my days, right after I receive a promotion, I belong to Jesus. Come on, Tapale, Are Matokale, 
As I'm getting off my brand new Mercedes Benz, as I'm getting off my brand new Range Rover, as I'm getting off the best of cars, as I'm jumping off a plane, as I've just traveled the world, as I've done the best I could have done, I belong to Jesus. Come on, Ty. Come on, Tepali. Come on, Tepali. Come on, Tekalari. Come on, Rimaya Hassan. Take me abroad. I will not change my confession. Take me locally. I will not change my confession. Take me to the rural of the rurals. I will not change. I will change for no one. I will change for no circumstance. I might test positive for cancer. I might be diagnosed with terminal cancer. But my confession remains the same. I belong. Come <laughs> Come on, Tapakala Rekato. Come on, Tekele Remenia Hase. Come on, Tepakana Rekete Pele Reve. Come on, Tekele Revenia Hase. Come on, Tepakana Rekete. Come on, Tepakala Revete Repekete. Come on, Tepekete Kele Rekete Pefea. Come at a peck and a racket of heaven a recatoy. Come at a peck and a recat of a can a racket of pelere. Cashote pacuna racket of a cala recate. Come at a pacala racket of pen a racket of peleve. I belong to Jesus. I belong to him. I belong to Jesus. I belong to him. I belong to Jesus. My life is not my own, but to Him I belong. Come on, tapa kala rekete. Come on, shete kela rekete pele. Come on, somebody. I want us now to pray and stretch. Come on, tapa kala remeria hase rekete pele rekete. Kato paka le rekete kene remania hase. Come on, tapa la rekete pe kene remania hase kete. Kuma te pe kene rikata paka na ria hase te. Paru raka te la hare rikatoi. Kama te paka la rekete kele rekete pele rima ria hase. Come on, Tapale, Rekate Kele, Rekate Pala Rekatoi, Atele Rimaya, Hasete Kuna Rabaraya, Katele Rimate Pala Rekate Pekana Remenia, Kano Tapale, Rekate Kele, Rekate Pele Ria Hase, Katapale Rekate Pekuna Rakata Pala Rakatai, Katola Rakataya, Katele Rekatea, Katale Rakatora, Katale Ratarea, Katola Rikatora, Katira Ravarate, Katola. Rete pekuna, katele rete pekalarai, katapa le rete kalarakatai. Kamo tapa kana reka tapa kana rekete, kuma tapa kana reka tapa kana reka tui. Kamo shata kala reme reka tapa na reya, kushata tapa kana reka tapa kana rekete, kuma shata kela reka tapa kana ramai. Kuma tepele ri takale rekete pele, kamo tapakale rekete kale rima rikatai, kate pala rekete kale rima rikata pakana rekete, kata lekete pekele rekete kale rikata pakana rekatai, kata pakala rekete kale rima rikata pakana rekatai, kamo tapakala rekete yatakalai, kato la rekatai yakatali. 
Kato pala rekete ya takala rakatai. Kato pala rekete kele reya hate ya. Kato pala rakata le rekete kele reya. Kato pala rata kala rekete ya. Kato kala raya tala retai. Atola rakato ya tapakalai. Atela rakata ya tae tadele. Atale rete tula ramo tai. Atela rakato ya tapale. Atala rikato la raba riatai. Come on, you to play la rita kana rama tapalaria. Kota le remenia hase. Kana rewania hai. Koma te pahala rimaria hase. Koma te kala remeria hase. Koma te pekana remenia hase heke te pele. Kamo rekete pekuna rakata pai. Koma te pekana remeria hase heke te pei. Koma te kala rakata kala remenia hase. Oh. Kama tapaka na rika tapaka na rima ni ahase. Myself away so you can use me. Kama tapaka na rika tapaka sehe teka na remenia. Kama taka la rika topa ya kata la ria. Kama tapaka na rika teke ya taka la reveri ahase. Kama tapaka na rika te I give myself. I give myself away. Kama rika tapaka na rima ya ahase. Kama tapaka na rima ria ahase. Kuma tepe kuna Maria hasa hakate bra hasa hakato Kuma rakate kele re Maria hasa Ata le rakate kele re Maria hasa kate Kana rakate pe kana rakato pala rakate Wherever you are just lift up your hands Yes Masalane We have been going to church We have lost our conviction We have been just going to church Just throwing ourselves there just going there for the sake of going. We have lost our sin. This is what I want us to contend for tonight. To pray that empower me to be a witness. I want you to pray. I want I need you to pray. Come on, Talahase. Kala rahasa hai, kana rema ya hate kala hai, kama tepa. The Lord wants to revive your first love. He wants to revive and restore your first love. I want you to open your heart and pray. Kama to, kama tepeke, kama tepeke na rema ni hase, kama tepeke na rema ni hase. Something is happening now. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is happening now. 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 Something is breaking out in this room. Ay ay ay. Koma tepele remeria hase. The power of the Holy Ghost. Sama rekete. Ate pala remaria hase hekete pala remaria hase. Maria hase hekete pala remaria hase. Kana remaria hase kete pala remaria hase. Kama remaria hase. Kama te pala rekete. Kama te pala rekete ya. Kama te pala rekete la. Kama te pala rekete kala ya. Kama te pala rekete kala ya. Come on, the pala ramaria high. And tell the rakataya hana maria. Uma the pala raya hana ria. Uma satakuna rat the pala re. Come on, the pala raya say. Ama the pala. Ay ay ay. May you run. Ay 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 ay. And not grow weary. May you show up. May you mount up with wings. Come on, the. Come on, tapa kala rekete. Come on, tapa la re. Come on, tapa kuna. Come on, tapa kala re. Oh, 
Thank you, Master Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You know, there's something special tonight for someone special. Somebody's life is about to turn around. In the sense that your walk with God is going to be renewed. Your walk with God is going to be refreshed. Your walk with the Holy Ghost is going to be renewed. And the walk with God is going to be refreshed. And how that will happen is, and how, the, how will that happen is, you will begin to feel the presence of the Holy Ghost being tangent, tangible. What I mean by that is, you will feel Him as though you are sensing someone standing next to you. You will sense, you will continuously stay, sense a strange presence, almost as if it is there physically. And it is happening now as I'm speaking. 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 Come at the palara hasay. You will begin to face life with audacity. You will begin to face life with with with, with conviction. With an assurance because of the strange presence I'm talking. It is happening now. It is happening. It is happening now. It is happening. The moment sometimes you close your eyes. The moment you set your heart to pray. You will begin to feel as if there is someone sitting next to you. The moment you close your eyes. You will feel like there is someone standing right there in front of you. Come on, The presence of the Holy Ghost will become so tangible to you. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, some of you will be praying and you'll feel like something is tapping your shoulder. You'll be praying, you'll be feeling like something is touching your forehead because the presence will be so tangible. Ay. Ay, ay. Ay. Come on, tapa kalara maria hase. Come on, tapa kalara maria hase. Come on, tapa kalara maria hase. Let us pray for the last time, Basaran. There is something really here. Yours is the kingdom, yours is the power, yours is the glory forever. We're praying for the last time now. Ay, 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 ay. Yours is the kingdom, Ataka la rakataka la remeria hase Umaraka tepekuna rakataka la ramaria na hai Kamata payasa hede kasho kodaba hasa kata Kamata pakana ramari kataka la ramara hase Ayayay Kamaraka tepele rakataka na remeria hase Kamata pehuna rakata pakana remeria hase Kamaraka hase kata pehuna remeria hase Umara hasa yayayay is the the Oh, 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 oh,
Pastor Shinka, please pray for us. Father, we give you praise. We honor you. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the glory. Yours is the honor forever. Your name, Lord God, is lifted up on high. Lord God Almighty, we look up unto you, O Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, our cry, O God, is that O Father, you will become a sinner. Of the kingdom, become our life. Can we clap our hands for Jesus in this place? Hallelujah. Can all Basilani Kamilika just come to the front and give our Thanksgiving offerings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ? Can we just come and give our Thanksgiving offering? The Kamilika Jesus Christ as a We are about to go home. Thank you, Master Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Believe me, your life has changed. Believe me, your life has changed. This is the kingdom. This is the kingdom. Jesus says, when you see me casting out demons in the name, amongst you, you must know that the kingdom has come.
Kukala basala na soke sibuka ni sanda zetu mingi lewe wangela. So let him receive the benediction. We are meeting again tomorrow here. I don't know about Pati Bami. Katibe kona ang sabu nochi. Amen. Um, we are meeting again here. Basala na first five. Intercession starts. I come in the church. So Christ has Nazareth. Let us all be here by then. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are meeting again tomorrow. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. And the fasting continues, Barcelona. Hallelujah. Fruit, veggies, water, and juice. Amen. Full stop. No comma, no but, no if. Hallelujah. No because. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, I guess we're going to say that we're going to in the name of Jesus. Father, we give, you peace. we give you all the glory for it belongs to you. Be glorified, be honored, be lifted high. In the name of Jesus Christ. Baba, we give you all the praise for such a wonderful work that you have done amongst us tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray therefore in the name of Jesus Christ that you be with us. That you may be with us at all times in the name of Jesus Christ. May we bless each and every one of the saints in our midst in the name of Jesus Christ, protecting them as we're about to depart to our different homes in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.